This is a town split in two by the Russian-Estonian border. Our reporter Vadim Kondakov has come to explore. Это российская крепость, российская сторона. Вот флаг, соответственно, а там уже на той стороне эстонская крепость, эстонский флаг. Разделяет все это пограничная река Нарова. Вот она. Теперь это два разных мира, две разных страны. Там Евросоюз, здесь Россия. И очень интересно узнать, как же они все здесь живут. Pavel Kapustin was born in Narva on the Estonian side where his parents worked. When they moved to Ivan Gorod 40 years ago, it didn't matter which bank of the river you lived on. In the 1990s, he set up a thriving business, trading goods across the border. But he says customs duties introduced by Estonia have hit him hard. Бак бензина. Два года назад они поменяли две пачки сигареты, бутылка водки и бак бензина в месяц. Despite the restrictions, cross-border shopping is still a way of life here. Kapustian's mother, Nina, goes food shopping in Narva two or three times a week. Качественная продукция здесь в Эстонии. Я поэтому беру здесь. И ему беру да. Да? Да. То есть он сам торгует продуктами, а вы ему из да, да, приводите? Да. Ну такого нет, вот как у него в магазине. With a population of 60,000, Narva is Estonia's third largest city. All the street signs are in Estonian, but nearly 90% of the population are Russian speakers. Alexei Kozhaev was born and raised here. His car dealership used to have lots of customers from the Russian side of the border, but their numbers have declined. The ruble collapsed in 2014 at the start of the Ukraine crisis, which has also strained political relations between Russia and Estonia. Musician Vladimir Chodakov was born and raised in Narva and recalls Estonian politicians being worried about Russia-backed separatism in his town. He says their fears were baseless. Какие параллели с Крымом? Ну вот вообще, даже не знаю, что сказать. Здесь никто об этом не говорит. Все же прекрасно понимают, никому не нужны ракеты с той стороны. Почему, в принципе, мы категорически против каких-то введения войск сюда? Chodakov plays concerts across both Estonia and Russia, and many Russian artists come to perform in Narva. For centuries, these two towns were effectively one city. Since the Soviet collapse in 1991, they've been divided by an international border. Despite deeper political divisions since 2014, they're still bound by ties of blood, language, culture and trade. <laughs>